Hello, my beautiful Scorpios. Your reading starts now. Welcome to all watchers, cross watchers, and subscribers. I'm so grateful for all of you. How are you today? Let's see what happy place that Scorpio can go in their reading, but there is definitely a happy place on the channel. We have a contest going, and it is for free readings. You'll find everything you need to know in the description box below, but if you comment, if you subscribe, if you like and share, you are eligible, and if you would not like to enter the contest that way, you can enter it by sending an email, but you need to follow the prompts below. So let's see your energy, your person's energy, Scorpio. What do we have here for your person's energy? Okay, I like this. This is beautiful. I like the Ace of Cups here for you. This is your person's energy that we're looking at right now. We're going to look at your mutual energy. Let's see what we have. Whoops. We have, okay, mutual energy is flipped over here. Okay, mutual energy for Scorpio. Let's see. We have, okay, there is some sort of surprise coming. But we're going to clarify everything, of course. Five of Wands. A little bit of an ego conflict here, Scorpio, with your lover. Um, let's see what your outcome is for this period of time. The readings are timeless because they're for the collective. So, oh, look at this. Emperor Energy. Making all the right moves. Look at, wow, okay. Hierophant Energy. Commitment energy, being on the same page, having the same beliefs, having a, a relationship in which you have a really nice spiritual connection. Okay, so Scorpio, we're going to take a look. You have Sagittarius energy. There's somebody from the past that has not, something hasn't worked out with. And what I'm getting is that you're underwater from this person. You know, this energy of the moon card is Pisces energy. I'm going to straighten up the table here. There we go. Um, the moon card is Pisces energy for you. You're pretty unimpressed with your person right now. You feel as though they've really, you know, they haven't been there for you. You feel disappointed. You feel sad. You feel very much as though you think that you should release this relationship. Let's see why the moon here is here for you. Uh, you fantasize, you desire, you want to have your person come forward in this relationship with a romantic offer. You're feeling very romantic towards them, but you feel as though there's nowhere to go with it. The Knight of Swords energy says that, you, you know, you have a lot to say to this person, but I don't think that you're going to say it with that moon card. Uh, you'd love to run in and tell them exactly what you think. You'd love to profess something romantic with them, but I'm just seeing you in this very strong energy that you may just have to let this go. So in the meantime, we look at your person's energy, and we have the Ace of Cups. The Ace of Cups is the stirrings of love, new love, the beginnings of love. Your person is holding back. They are not telling you. Your person's being very stealthy about this, you know, very self-protective. This person's still wounded from something in the past. It looks like there was a relationship in the past. They have not quite gotten over a relationship in which they were engaged to be married, they were married, or they, and that's impacting your relationship. Because when we get the three of coins here, we get collaboration. But your person is still, it appears they are still in love with somebody from the past. They love you too. The energies are certainly the energies that you both share. But I'm getting that your, you know, your person just hasn't healed from whatever happened. But I like the energy and I like the fact that we have Sagittarius. We have, both of you want to work this out. Both of you are, you know, keeping things to yourself. You know, we have a lot of energy here of that. So the mutual energy, Scorpio, for the two of you is you want equal give and take. And look at this. Like, uh, you know, you really, really want this outcome for the relationship to be stability with the possibility of marriage. I like it. So this is, this is your outcome. So this is your mutual energy. This is your outcome energy. So what is it here that comes in as a big surprise? I 
I'm getting the energy of the Eight of Coins. You think you know each other, but you actually don't. I'm getting that you feel as though you really have an understanding, and what you're about to find out is that the two of you are both very ego-driven. And the reason you're ego-driven here is that you want to have your wish fulfillment with one another. You feel as though you may not get it, but you're both suffering from old wounds. Both of you need to heal. Now, Scorpio, I think you're further along the path. I get the card that's you. Judgment card is Scorpio energy. So you are healing old wounds from the past. But again, you know, you're both of you are on the verge of letting one another go. And yet your mutual energy says that you feel discouraged. The Eight of Coins reversed is feeling discouraged about what you've learned with one another. Um, but the good news is, is that there is no player energy here. Both of you really are in it to win it. You both want this feeling of a mutual exchange of energy. You both want to have equal give and take. Um, both of you want to be happy with one another. You're one another's wish fulfillment. And yet, there's this sort of very ego-driven energy that is, you know, all about how things get done. How do we do this? How do we build a foundation? How do we get there from here? Let's see your outcome energy here. Passion. But it's also very strategic. The emperor energy is manifestation energy. So it is manifesting passion. It's not holding back anymore. I feel as though there's a lot of energy that's healing and holding back. Not intentionally so, but by default. So the eight of wands, why is the Hierophant card here? The ten of cups, you both want... Okay, this is your outcome. <laughs> from all of this, the phoenix rises from the ashes yet again. The phoenix is this, this relationship that doesn't look like it's in great shape. Both of you are highly emotional people, but it, you know when we look at this energy, you want the same thing, so I like that. And that brings you into this energy of success. Gorgeous. Look at this. Ten of Cups is happily ever after. The Hierophant is very, very traditional religious beliefs, typically. Uh, and the Ace of Coins, oh my goodness. So the Ace of Coins is oftentimes an engagement ring. Now I don't see the other half required at this time, but both of you, the outcome of this reading is that both of you will come together with a significant offer of love because we have the Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups is all about loving each other deeply. So let's see also what what more can we learn about this situation. So let's look at more information that would be helpful in this situation for you, Scorpio. What does Scorpio need to know about this situation? What does Scorpio need to know? That you love each other. Scorpio, there you are in your reading. I love it. So you both, you've fallen in love with each other, but you're not talking about it. So let's see what else we have. The Eight of Wands. You both desire one another. You both desire each other a great deal. You're both being very savvy and very strategic because as you notice, this is, you're both bringing into the outcome, this very strategic moves, you know, culminates in a relationship with a commitment. But what you need to know is that you're both in love with each other. This is mutual. The attraction, you both want to make love all night long. The bed springs will squeak if you don't have a foam mattress, my friends. <laughs> and we have the two of wands. It's time to really make a decision. It's both of you really know that. You know, it looks like you've been internet friends or internet communicating, you know, kind of lower level than where you want to be in this relationship. Devil energy says that there's some power struggles going on, and I see that with the five of wands. You have some power struggles. Both of you want things your own way, and that energy is not helpful to the relationship developing. So what I do is both of you are trying to come to this point with each other when you can speak very, very bluntly 
and very honestly about what it takes for the two of you as individuals to be successful. So I see a conversation happening here. It is mutual. You both really want to talk about this and you want to make a clear cut decision about moving forward because otherwise both of you are ready to spin the globe and take your chances, you know, on a new adventure. It's the, you know, it's where the path splits in half. And so what we see here, Scorpio, is that you both want to be able to have clarity here. Why is it double here? Seven of Cups, okay. So both of you are very attractive. Both of you get a lot of attention. Both of you on the internet have a lot of people who like your photos of the opposite sex. So it really is throwing a shadow on what both of you believe. But look at this Cancerian energy. We have Cancerian energy who is the emperor who's driving the chariot. Honey, I'm coming home. We're going to make plans. We're going to make plans for the future. We're going to talk about how happy we can be. We're going to discuss our love. We're going to talk about the future and our beliefs. We're going to make love all night long and we're going to be significantly um, avowed to each other. That's you know, if we get the Three of Cups, we have an official engagement. All right, so both of you are single. That's what it looks like. Both of you are in this energy of happiness. Both of you are pretty happy people. You love to laugh. You know, both of you want to enjoy the relationship. You've done a lot of the work. And the Four of Wands, look, three marriage cards is your outcome. So I would say that you're going to seriously discuss whether you want to be married, what that looks like. I feel both of you want to be married. I feel both of you still have some healing to do. I also feel as though with the Ace of Coins and the Hierophant card, you could take a period of time. If you don't want children, it looks as though it would take probably about three years before you married. How, when will you know that you want to marry this person? You kind of know you already do. You know, you, you already know that you want to marry. You feel as though you're one another's happy place. You know that now. And I just see the two of you having gone through other relationships with people who were just not even on the same page. You know, both of you suffered this turmoil. The reason both of you are going through all of this healing energy is that Six of, so Six of Swords, you had to both move away from a relationship. You're both healing from relationships when individually you had to move, move away from somebody that had had no capability. There was it was a hopeless situation for both of you that the people you were with at a different earlier time, you know, could love you the way you needed to be loved. There was no chance of it because we have a little pig up here that says when pigs fly and you knew that. You both knew that. You both did the right thing. You both took the six of boats, the six of boats, the six of swords boat right out of there by yourself away from somebody who couldn't give you what you wanted. Let's see how your healing is coming here. How is the healing for your person coming, Scorpio? Three, oh, beautiful. Three of Cups energy. You lift their spirits. You're helping heal their heart, but they are healing because the Three of Cups is Cancerian energy. We have Cancerian energy here. It does look like this person may be in a period of time of about three months before they really uh, confess how meaningful you are to them verbally, but you do have a very deep conversation over here. Let's look at your healing. Okay, so Scorpio, you really feel a little bit more lightweight about your healing. Um, you have fears about being pulled under in romance, but you're also releasing that. That's your energy. That's Phoenix rising energy. You know, we have, when we get this beautiful Sagittarius energy, you know, timing is on your side right now, and that's what I see. So let's take a look and see what the Moonology deck has for you, Scorpio. So for Scorpio, for our Scorpio friends, what would Scorpio, what would be helpful for Scorpio to know? You and your loved ones are safe. So that's really this energy. You know, though you have fears, uh, you do feel safe. So you, you are moving forward in a 
positive way with this person. They're moving forward with you. Okay. A time for healing. Boy, what did I say? A time for healing. You know, it's very easy to stay stuck and not heal when you don't have what you want. And so what I see here is that both of you are very mature. You're coming to the table as very, very sophisticated, mature people. You have an understanding. And what we're seeing here is that you're motivated to finish doing the healing work and taking care of yourself. You're both motivated to have an open and honest relationship. Both of you have a desire to control, but you both recognize that that's not healthy. That while you can be strategic in a relationship with each other, it's better a team endeavor than one person trying to extract or manipulate another person. So that is something that both of you, you know, when we feel in control, we feel safe. And that controlling behavior is part of what needs to heal here. And it's for both of you because there's a lot of ego drive here. Okay. Unleash the wild within. Okay. Well, we have all this Eight of Wands energy over here. So release your wild inner self. Look at that. Pushing back your mask, revealing who you are. Embrace the energy of peace. Beautiful. Scorpio, sending you love and light. Send some love back to Chicago because I'm sending it to you. Tell me where you're from. Namaste, Scorpio. Take care. Bye-bye.